Hi guys, welcome to another Loot Crate video. Myself and Marta just shifting along there for a better shot of myself. Hope you're all having a wonderful Christmas. I myself, of course, am currently enjoying Christmas. Uh, Pre-recorded some Loot Crate action for you. So, uh, let's get cracking, shall we? So what we got... Ooh. Now this is actually pretty, uh, pretty good. I was actually thinking of getting a pop because I was kind of decorating my desk a little bit. I don't actually like pop that much, to be honest. I think they look kind of cheap. I don't really get the hype behind them. And people are like, oh, look, taking it out of its box. I'm like, this is never going to be worth anything ever. Like, if you want to keep it in the box, that's cool. I'm just saying. This is not like some collectible. This is cheap, mass reduced shit. But I was thinking of getting a pop because, you know, it's cheap. And uh, the Overwatch ones actually look better than a lot of them. So I'm actually pretty happy about this. Bit of a shame I got Widowmaker, because I don't play Widowmaker. I should never snipe ever. So, uh, a bit of a shame I didn't get Tracer, Reaper, uh, Farrah, Soldier, or Winston. I would prefer Tracer, Reaper, or Farrah, but I wouldn't be happy with any of them. It's not like I'm unhappy with Widow, but it is a bit odd. Because she seems to be wearing like an alternate costume or something. And I've got on the box, she's got that. Which is a bit odd. But yeah, still, they, they saved me some money there. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Next up, we've got a t shirt. And it is. Ooh. Voltron. That's pretty neat. I'll probably never wear that. <laughs> I'm going to have to just sell the ones I'm not going to wear or give them away or something. Maybe do like a giveaway for you guys or something along those lines. Yep, yeah, Voltron t shirt. There we go. Next up is uh, Power Rangers. It's Morphin Time, powered by the strength of dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Five teenagers actually morph to become the mighty Morphin Power Rangers and unite the five original Power Rangers to take down Rita Repulsa and save the universe. Where's my little... I don't know, my, my journey poster artwork thing has fallen down. I'll, uh, I did put it back up, but it's fallen down again. So I'm going to have to leave it right now. That's... There we go. There we are, we got uh, Mr. Pinky there, so take, the, take it out of the plastic so you guys can see a bit better. Yeah, there we go, not bad, and you've got like a little dinosaur symbol on it, I don't know if you guys can really see, but uh, it's kind of neat. I'm not a huge Power Rangers fan, but I'm not like against it or anything. There we go. I don't know if I can actually get it back in the plastic, but I'll... Okay, so, last thing is a comic, Justice League America, Starro the Conqueror, is the one that they're, they're fighting there, this weird star you looking motherfucker. And we got a DC Certificate of Authenticity at the back here. Number 28, is there a date or anything on it? I mean, I probably don't want to open this, <laughs> but, uh, 10 cents. Yeah, I'm going to go with I don't want to open that. <laughs> I'll have to show that to Paul. He loves his comics. Uh, I'm sure he'll like that. Okay. Uh, that's just an advert for another Loot Crate thing. I'm not really interested in that. So this one is Unite 2.0. If that makes sense, because we've got Overwatch, Voltron, and Justice League, uh, of course, Power Rangers. So let's have a quick flick through. Yep, here we go. Is the uh, other Power Rangers you could have got on? Uh, let's see. Oh, and the box is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've never built any of them. In fact, I've got to kind of go through all the boxes and put it all into one box because I've just got a huge stack of loot crates just taking up space at the moment. So I've got to get rid of the actual boxes and just put everything in one big box. Luckily, there's a ton of boxes around from all the uh, Christmas presents I've ordered. Okay, so it is supposed to be that one, even though it's a box. So it's, it's exclusive variant of Widowmaker from Overwatch. So, I might actually want to leave that in the box. No, it's still a pop though. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. I want to see. Where's Voltron? 
Top Farm Doltron. Uh, oh yeah, there's the comic. This is what the information. Oh, it's a reprint of the Brave and the Bold number 28, special paper to mimic the original 1960 run, and a good certificate of authenticity. So it's not actually like rare or anything, not that I thought it would be because it's in a loot crate that's going out to like probably hundreds if not thousands of people, but uh, I'll still leave it because you never know. With comics I am, you know, not really knowledgeable at all, so I can't find Voltron. I'm not going to sit there and keep looking because it's not particularly interesting to sit there watching me uh, flick through a box for 10 hours. Where's my pin? Oh, it, oh sorry. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've got a little little pin there. And uh, Mr. Phone is going to see what's what's in this one. This hat is quite itchy. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, wear a Santa hat, it's Christmas. And I was like, oh, it's itchy though. <laughs> it itches. Okay, lootcrate.com slash pins. Let's have a look. What this pin unlocks for us this month? Oh, okay. Batman and the Telltale series season one. Nice. That took a little bit of work because it actually defaulted to the December one. To be fair, like, A, I got this late because, uh, of course, it turned up when everyone was at work. So <laughs> that was fun. And then it took forever and five years to send it back. And obviously I'm recording this like a week or maybe more after I received it, so it's probably gonna I'm probably gonna get the December loot crate in like two weeks' time and I'll do that for the new year or something. Regardless, hope you guys enjoy your lovely Christmas. I, I am probably doing so right now as we speak. So yeah, thanks again for all your support, thanks again for fifty thousand subs. I'm sure you've seen the video that Paul's done on it, so I'm gonna sit to the topic, but I just wanted to issue a personal thank you. And a Merry Christmas to you all for all your support. It really does mean a huge deal for both myself and Paul. 50k subs is just, it's odd. I mean, it's, it's an awesome milestone, but it's really strange at the same time. So thank you very much for your support. And uh, hopefully here's to another big milestone next year. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.